Nanu Nanu. Fellow Palladians, Sadie. Sadie. Hi, Callie. Shaggy. Shaggy baby. Oh my god. I got, I got some Ferengis in my room. Ringy puppies. Okay, well, I'm, uh, I just want to share something. Uh, when I was waiting for my uh, my reed switches, I made this little switch right here. Piece of aluminum. Just had a chunk of this stuff laying out in the garage. It's got a copper tube going through it with an insulator wire soldered onto it. This side I flattened it out on the end and put this little chunk of brat or copper on here. It actually is a little, like a little button that came off my uh, Levi's. And then this little metal spring uh, magnets on my motor right here. Activate it and I got uh, two volts going across that uh, capacitor and and so now that little switch is going like hell right now you can't even tell because I got five magnets on that little tiny wheel and it's going so fast you can't even tell but if you look at the LED at a certain angle you can kind of see it flickering, and then when you turn the power off, I mean, it goes. It 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 it, it keeps up. This thing spins, I think, like uh, 950 RPMs, just like sitting here, and flat like this, 950. Uh, but it just gives a really clean. It gives you a really nice clean switch. You know, and that copper stays good. You don't have to move that copper very much, man. You just, that, that little magnet comes through there and just barely activates that thing and barely moves it just enough, you know. Just, it's all you need is just a little bit. You just need that little bit and uh works real good. You can actually uh, use the output of this uh, to a transistor, bias, you know, the base of the transistor. Very, very efficient, very clean, very easy. I just, I put it on this, this uh, museum putty. This museum putty is really good stuff. It's, it's like, it never dries out. It's always like, perfect. Even if you get it dirty, it's like, it gets clean overnight. I think they got like little elves come in and cleans it overnight or something. I use it on uh, my reed switches. Da, 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 da. And then I'll also uh, put my parts in it, you know, and solder. Kind of a cool little thing. Anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Thought I'd share with those guys who are also waiting for reed switches to show up. You can make something. I mean, this this thing can be wood or plastic whatever you want. You can even build it into a, you know, you're the base of your thing, like like if this wood extended out a little bit further, and you had a piece of wood going up, and you just drilled a hole through it, through the wood, you know, and you put this whole thing, just drill the holes. You drill a hole for the spring, drill a hole for this thing, and, and it'll just be a little switch all built into the thing. Oh yeah, just so uh, Oh, well, feel for thought. Thanks, thanks for watching. Nanu, nanu. Oh, I got something for you, Jerry. And I got something for you. I'm at Mach One with this thing. And and, and check it out. I got the little. I got the little. Lit up thing over there. <laughs> it looks pretty cool when it's running. I I got it all tore apart right now. I'm waiting on some transistors. I'm going to do this double transistor thing, get some real power through it. But, uh, 
Yeah, so uh, updates will be uh, forthcoming. Okay, talk to you guys later.